that is a major incident. Washington, there is a rumor of a huge explosion against Japan. As far as I'm concerned, a bomb has gone off or something has exploded on death toll from the mass murder. Ready for war, sir. Burned to death in their cars. The atomic bomb that he... Thousands of people. Well, what I'm seeing is a lot of very, very frightened people. The number you have dialed is not in service at this time.
Hello and welcome, and what a better way to kick off your weekend than with a dose of alternative music. I'm the Codfather, this is the Alternative Jukebox Podcast. It's a Doc H production in association with Smile Radio. Playing the music that matters and paying homage to bands and artists who stay under the radar of mainstream radio. Uh, Dr. Inns is in the studio with me tonight. He's, uh, he's brought the place in by hand. He's got bundles of singles, LPs, CDs, and I think he's even got downloads on his phone. Uh, if you want to contact us, you can do so uh, via, what is it? We've got, we can tweet us at the Codfather 17 and Smile Radio 3. You can follow us on that Instagram at the Codfather DJ, and we're on that there, Facebook. The Codfather, just look for this handsome young fella. Uh, so strap yourself in. Uh, that were the Melvins. Good evening, Dr. Haynes. How are you? Good evening, sir. Thanks for inviting me back on the uh, the airwaves. Um, it, uh, the Codfather set up a nice uh, ambiance here tonight. He's uh, lit, lit a few candles around me. Uh, I don't know if we're right. doing a, I don't right. know if we're doing a sacrifice or uh, it's early yeah, Valentine's. I, I'm going to slaughter a sprout. <laughs> <laughs> not quite sure, but not quite worried. There's that's why the li- that's why the can- I think I've slaughtered a sprout earlier, well, but that's another <laughs> <laughs> a lovely aroma in here. Anyway, if it was smell a uh, smell a radio, uh, it'd be good. Yeah, but. well, there you go. So that was the uh, the Melvins. Uh, I do, we do like the Melvins, don't we? Yeah, they kicked sludgy. it off. Yeah, that well, we all don't say that. Um, the song was called Go, and like I said, Buzz Osborne doesn't actually like the fact that they are constantly described as sludgy. So they, but they are though. Yeah, yeah, well, um, I'm not, yeah, there was a bit of Metallica going on there. Yes. Um, this is a little bit of trivia I did like about them. They've had at least six bass players. Uh, they've never lost any, just kicked them out when they've had enough of them. And one of the bass players was actually Shirley Temple's daughter. Shocked and stunned. Yeah, Laurie Black. So, mm. so Top trivia. Yeah, well, there you go. So we're going to move on with your playlist. We've got Rob Zombie coming up now. Yes. Rob Zombie, who like Rob, he's an American musician and found a member of White Zombie. He's a movie director and he's directed such movies as uh, House of a Thousand Corpses, Halloween and Halloween 2. Oh. So there you go. And uh, a man with a thirst for uh, gruesome and macabre is actually an animal rights activist Straight. and a vegetarian. Oh, aren't we all nowadays? Well, there big you go. Sh- big shout out to your brother. Oh, yeah. Who's the vegan, new vegan. Vel- vegan Velcro. Uh, yeah. Just like to say for the little, little ears, uh, yeah, this is probably not one for them. So and there you go. So listen away now. <laughs> sick bubble gum. This is Rob Zombie. Hey, we all know how we're going to die, baby. We're going to crash and burn.
So there you go, that was Scoff and Nirvana, one of your favourites, Dr. Haynes. Yeah. Is that one of your favourite albums, it's off? Yeah, as I was saying, we were talking off air there, and um, you're kind of not a massive Nirvana fan, but like what you've said there, the ones you've heard, you like. Oh, absolutely, but I think it's that thing again, you, the certain bands, when, and we go back to mainstream radio here, Yeah. where the the made of one song, you know, there's a lot of... Oh, a teenage... Uh, it smells like teen seen, spirit and yeah. stuff like that. Apparently, it was a perfume that his girlfriend wore at the time. Sounds lovely. Yeah, it smells <laughs> get, like teen spirit. Some, Valentine's are coming up, folks. Yeah, yeah. Don't forget <laughs> teen spirit. That's what you need to put on it. <laughs> smells like teen spirit. Yeah. What I was saying there to you off off air. Um, never mind that. Never mind. Album was absolutely rammed down every disco. If you want it to be a little yeah. bit alternative, a little bit edgy, that's what you put on, and everybody, oh, this is great. But again, this is what we're all about: is looking behind the scenes, looking at what stripped back. And this album, I urge you to go find Nirvana Bleach album, and it's big ballsy drums, big ballsy guitars, and it, it really it blows your mind. So again, we're, we're putting some on the table. Go check it out and uh, let us know what you think. Well, there you go. That's straight from the doctor. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so... Nirvana, I don't like this stuff. I'm just looking at some of the names that he actually picked before he got Nirvana. Fiesel Matter, Pencap Chew, Bliss, Ted, Ed and Fred. So, there's a winner. Just, right. roll, just rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Well, it, it certainly does, it certainly does. Who we got next? Lord, Lord of the North. It's from their self-titled album. Apparently, I'm trying to find Lord of the North. I can't find him. But I tell you what, we'll go to Mudhoney instead. Oh, why not? In and out. Good of option. Career. Well, I think so. I think it's uh, it's, it's live, good... folks. It's live. It is live. Uh, the band that made the Nantes uh, grunge movement possible, and they laid the foundations. Yeah. Apparently, but the likes of Soundgarden, Nirvana, and all them yeah, it's a good outsold, uh, outsold, and everything. So. There you go, this is In and Out of Grace, Mud Honey. Well, we want to be free. We want to be free to, there, to do what we want to do. We want to be free to ride. We want to be free to ride our machines without being hassled by the man. And we want to get loaded.
Well, no shit. What have we got here? A fucking comedian, private joker. I admire your honesty. Hell, I like you. You can come over to my house and fuck my sister. <clears throat> you little scumbag! I got your name! I got your ass! You will not laugh! You will not cry! You will learn by the numbers! I will teach you! Now get up! Get on your feet! You had best unfuck yourself or I will unscrew your head and shit down your neck! Go, that was Rebel Girl and Bikini Kill. Uh, they're a feminist punk band who were formed in 1990 and disbanded in 1997 and they were credited with instigating the Riot Girl movement of the early 90s. Uh, up now we've got cult classic punk rock band, arguably one of the most infamously named bands in the anus of popular music, the but all surfers, Human Cannibal. Dr. Ains is with me, this is the Codfather's Alternative a Jukebox.
listen to them. Children of the night. What music they make. So there you go, that was Requiem by Gloves Off. Uh, Frank, you said F them vocals, and it sounds a little bit peed <laughs> off for me. Uh, apparently they formed in 2017 in Philadelphia, and they've built up quite a cult following with their aggressive live shows. Discuss, Doctor, can you do anything? I know your stethoscope was giving it some welly there. <laughs> yeah, I was proper, yeah, yeah, proper, proper rocking yeah, out there. Yeah, you was. I was saying to uh, the Cord Father there, um, me and my friend Dan Standish, we used to put on three, four bands every Friday night at um, up in Leeds there. And this is more of a performance. This is You need to go see these bands. I can't see many people sat there and, and, and playing a full album of this and, no. and, and, and really appreciating what it what it's all about. You get to see this, and you see the energy. It's performance. It's not. A, it's not music itself. It's a full. It's act. music you have to see, isn't it? Oh, 100%, I mean, you know. Quick shout out, Sheffield last week, Cafe Totten. Yes. You know, Witch Fever, and Strange Bones. Strange Bones. Yeah. Again, the performance, the energy. I couldn't understand a word 
He was singing. <laughs> but <laughs> when he's bouncing, no, it, no, it isn't. And like you say, so always go and see these bands live. They're far more fun. Get yourself in a mosh pit. Yeah. Get yourself thrown about. And Frighten yourself to death. That's it. You <laughs> just check. You just check. You've still got a pulse. Yeah. Well, yeah. This is true. Yeah. It's. Uh, <laughs> I think I've still got one. Right, we shall move on. I'll get my stethoscope out. Yeah, get, get ready. <laughs> this is a Swedish hardcore punk band, uh, Wolf's Brigade. They're formerly known as Wolf Pack, and they changed the name to avoid association with a Swedish neo Nazi prison gang of the same name. It's probably you're, a good idea, isn't it? Well, yeah, you're listening to the Codfather's alternative music. Discotheque, call it what you want. <laughs> I've got the Doctor H with me. This is In Darkness, You Feel No Regrets. Stand them is ours. It has been before. 
before So why can't it be now And the people who were weaker than you and I They take what they want from life But oh, don't mention love No, no, don't mention love A rush and the push and the land That we stand on is ours Your youth may be gone But you're still a young home Me, home, me, home was Coheed and Cambria with the uh, fabulous cover of the Smiths A Rush, A Push and The Land Is Ours a band whose uh, music transcends effortlessly across all the genres of rock, indie, progressive, metal pop punk and right into classic rock The Doctor <laughs> Yep, so made a bit of an apology to the Codfather off air because his, his love for Morrissey <laughs> he's got a bit of a twitch on now even mentioning his name um, makes it, me teeth itch <laughs> he's not a fan of Morrissey and uh, quite a few people aren't but we've said there similar to Bob Dylan in his nasal vocals Morrissey with his uh, outlandishness and his uh, if you're wearing if you're wearing leather you're not coming oh, to be gigs yeah, and all yeah, this kind of stuff gig, apparently, yeah. you, you can't come in um, but it just goes to show good lyrics are good lyrics and this is absolutely, a really great absolutely. cover yeah I thought it was fantastic that it certainly it didn't resonate that it was Morrissey pretentiousness yeah it didn't you know I didn't, <laughs> but same fine fine cover right moving on I really do like the name of this band and you know New York Alcoholic Anxiety Attack uh, they're cult underground rockers from Bradford West Yorkshire uh, they play authentic original rock and roll this is Guns and Gods the Codfather playing the music that matters with Dr. Haynes good evening
Well, there you go. That was Lassiter's uh, Pissed Robber, uh, the London trio, who uh, well make noisy punk rock, pummeling your ears with enormous riffs and potent drum beats. And it is actually a favourite of uh, the Cod Crew's Susie. That was one of her. Yep, I've got to keep uh, the little lady indoors happy. Uh, she said, can you play this one for us this week? And she informs me that the names from uh, Lassiter's Complex are neighbours for them, for those who used to run home from school and... Uh, is that, that Aussie when, thing? Yeah, Aussie thing, yeah. Neighbours, <laughs> all that stuff. That's, all right. Yeah, that's why I'm not is in a Is Carly band. still in it? Yeah, she is, yeah. Jason, is she? Jason and Carly. And Bowser. Jess. And Jess. Is it Bowser? That, oh, uh, I've no idea. I just remember Carly York. and Jess being oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, all them. I don't know. So, um, yeah, so that's, that keeps her happy, obviously. Well, Keep her off my back. Well, there you go. Got some shout outs. Got some shout outs. Uh, People that have been listening in, subscribing to the podcast, which is www.thecodfatherdj.podbean.com. Well, there you go. And we've Team got effort. What, what we're <laughs> racking up now for 40, 58 shows on the alternative. This is the 59th. 59th. And um, 14 shows of the blues. And on there, there's a um, recent uh, interview you did with Jay Mack, the photographer and comedian. Yeah. Two definitely. hours with a great playlist on that, isn't there? As well? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's some different stuff. There's, I mean, from Chris Christopherson, Chris yeah. Christopherson to, to um, yeah, Dead Kennedys. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, yeah, it's yeah, it's, yeah. There's some Bob Dylan. So yeah, go so check that out. Go check that out. www.thecodfatherdj.com. Yeah, so. on there. And oh yeah, you can check out some of his photography work on um, the gig review page on our website. There, yeah, he's got some great stuff. And if you want to hire him for any gigs or anything yeah. like that, I am Jay Mac. Yeah, on Instagram. Yeah, on Instagram. On that side of things, uh, he does his, his welcome to bar mitzvahs, everything else. Well, there's a train going by. Three. We should have that for blue, shouldn't we? Should yeah, well, he never he never comes on at the right time, does he? No. Not when doing the blue show. It's always this one. So we've got a few shout outs to new yes, listeners. We have, yeah. Um, so yeah. We're getting some great feedback, and I mean, it's always nice because when you're doing this, you can't really, you don't really get any response because there's no audience there as such. Instant, instant gratification, is it? Uh, no, no, I'm so. not giving you my phone number. <laughs> <laughs> You've lit the candles. Come on. Oh, um, there you go. So you know, they, they send us messages and comments through um, the old Instagram and, and whatnot. So uh, big shout out to Jim Royal. Um, she's uh, a new listener there. Give us some great feedback about the J Mac interview the other day. Uh, Dave Buxton. Um, he ambushed you today, didn't he? Ambushed me, and uh, you know I, I had technical problems, and he wanted to talk about the radio show, which is fine. <laughs> um, Kelly Ann is a new listener. Uh, I think she's getting into this kind of stuff, alternative uh, music, and she's looking to go to her first big rock gig. Surely, Rattlesnakes is it? Rattlesnakes. Oh right. Um, do a bit of a mosh pit. So good luck with that. With yeah, that one. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, and that, with a slam dancing yeah and uh, obviously we'll, we, we've put some uh, some high beat tunes on for Lucy and Phil so when they're making the beds over in the Swiss Alps there uh, oh yeah well yeah they're, they're out there out there riding mountain bikes and yeah, eating Toblerones or something. Is it? Tobler, yeah. That's all they have. Yeah. Could you send us a Toblerone? <laughs> <laughs> I love them. Yeah, so we can yeah. dunk it in our coffee. What we'll do is that they they run a, a mountain biking company over in Switzerland. Uh, we'll put some uh, is it contact Verbi, details. Verbi or yeah, yeah. It's something foreign. Some but will be, won't it? <laughs> but yeah, they <laughs> lovely Swiss Alps, and they, they they put bed and breakfast on and mountain biking trails and stuff like that. So uh, sounds like heaven. It does, doesn't it? Right, right. On street. right. Here we go. Right, we'll move on to Mushroom Heads, uh, American metal band. Uh, they're known for their avant-garde sound, which includes heavy metal, art rock, and electro-industrial influences. Not off. Yeah, so here we go, Doctor Ince. This is the Quadfathers alternative jukebox. Show me to say this. And it's I ever wanted to believe that peace could grow inside of you, in spite of me, humanity. I hope you're out there somewhere I hope you're out there somewhere
in myself So many things are hating me So many things are so hard to believe I can hear the whole world calling I can hear the whole world calling me All alone I hear the angels scream That's about it. I do hope you have enjoyed this week's selection. Dr. Ernst, it's always a pleasure to have you in the studio. It's always a pleasure to be here, Mr. Codfather. Right. Yeah, great. I mean, a bit self-indulgent this week. Uh, a little bit more off uh, the beating track from what we do, but yeah, why not? Every now and again. Songs. People want to submit a song? Oh, yeah, yeah. So we've got, um, if you want to send us an uh, original tune, you can send it over to the Codfather dj at gmail.com an mp3 format you can either send it for the the folk and blue show or you can send it for the alternative yeah. show the email is the codfather dj one at, at gmail.com gmail. com. yeah let's like say you can contact us on the the website so yeah, sure. right so let's like say um a big thank you to you for listening uh a big thank you to Susie to smile radio always much gratitude for what they do uh, don't forget, you can check out the website for pictures and reviews. You can subscribe to the podcast to hear this and all previous shows, www.thecodfatherdj.podbean.com. I'm back on Monday with the Fork and Blues show, um, so come and join me for that. I've been the Codfather, he's been Dr. Haynes, and you've been listening to the Alternative Jukebox podcast, a Doc H production in association with Smile Radio. Playing us out this week is Five Finger Death Punch. Uh, with it coming down... <laughs> It's coming down. <laughs> I'll catch you later. Thanks for listening. <laughs>
thanks you, my father thanks you, my sister thanks you, and I thank you. <laughs> 